course has a certain amount of moisture within it. So the blade is being constantly monitored by the electronics on the machine. If it detects, detects moisture, which is conductive, it will fire the brake into the blade and stop it within five minutes. So you can see, I'm not going to pull any fast ones, you can see on here, that's the one from this morning that we used. You can see the tiny little nick on there. And I'm not using something which is completely covered in water, so it's had the moisture content. We can put it on the side next stages, bring the fence over, and then lock it off into position. So I go into my workshop, normal working day, and I want to make a cut. Cross cut maybe, I'm in a bit of a rush to get the job done. The phone goes, maybe something happens, I'm not going to see. So the next stage is we'll make a cut. Remember what it says, when it goes off in cloud, if you're holding a phone, make sure you've got hold of it properly, I take no responsibility for you. If you're holding a child, I definitely take no responsibility. My days of looking after young children are well and truly gone. Phone, uh, water, coffee or tea, make sure you put it down as well. You all set? pick it up you see it's on this side a little bit of dust on there we'll take it away and on this occasion there's not even a mark on there remember within five milliseconds it takes the blade down and it also stops the blade and the tip of the tooth on this blade of this diameter is traveling at 60 meters a second and that's a huge distance to go and so there's a lot of energy absorbed by the brake and also to bring the blade down so it's this rim speed which brings the blade below the surface and it's a brake which actually does the stopping for it as well. So what's happened now <laughs> do not feed the animals. <laughs> so what's happened is as the blade has turned it's detected that conductivity, the moisture it's fired the block into the blade, that stops the blade, and it's this rim speed which takes the blade down. Remember, it's going so fast, four and a half thousand RPM, but 60 seconds, uh, 60 meters in one second, it then takes it down. So now, to quite spice girls, two become one. This now goes off to be recycled, and you need to replace the brake and also the blade. I'd rather have this cost than be walking around like this, and then I avoid having my day interrupted I can go back to work having replaced the cartridge and also the blade I've got no insurance issues I've got no income issues I can still look after my family as well and I can walk around with 10 digits have you any questions what happens if it's raining what if it's raining you turn the system off you can turn the system off but, but, but don't use it in the rain uh, you'll have moisture content yeah, and, it'll, yeah. it'll set and the same applies to the common question which is if you're using high uh, moisture content timber, you can also bypass the system. What's the cost of replacing? <coughs> Excuse me. Costs haven't been defined as yet, but if, for example, maybe this costs 200 quid, I'd rather pay that. 300 quid, I'd rather pay that. But you don't reuse this part now. Any, any other questions? Okay, come a bit closer. What we'll do is we'll open up the saw. Show you what's happened on the inside. So we'll isolate the machine to make sure everything is nice and safe. Take this away. So the next stage is we can remove the top cover. So you have to remember, as a prototype, some of this is 3D printed. So, to the side. so you can see down here where you've got the blade and also where the brake is fired into the blade. So remember that system in Festool called Fast Fix. You don't need any tools. Now we've got to go old school and use two spanners to get the blade off. So we can put this on here. So for those experienced in a workshop using a saw, do I push away or do I pull towards me? Don't give her answers. Depends on which side you're on. So loose, loosen off the spindle because I've got to touch the blade. I'm also selling these gloves 
10 pounds a pair without printing, 15 quid a pair with the printing. Proceeds go to my family. So <laughs> now we can bring up the blade and we can undo the centre spindle. So we need to do two operations next, which is to remove the blade from the spindle and then we can take a small lever away from the blade brake. So the next stage is we can open up the side of the saw, bring this out, and then we need to loosen the blade from the spindle. So you can see it's got a slight wedge shape on it. When the brake goes off, it really creates a huge amount of force and it can jam it onto the spindle. So all this will do will help me to remove the blade from the side. That's now loose. And here's a lever, bring this out, take it away, and now the blade and the brake can come away from the saw. And then we can take out the two components. You can see the way it's fired in exactly the same as the earlier one that I showed you as well. So yes, this and this now go off, it can be recycled, and I have to replace the two components. But it's still better than having a serious injury or an amputation, and then the op ongoing implications of having an injury such as that as well. And that is the TKS80 and this is to be launched at the back end of 2020 and it will be the first saw in the UK and also Europe with this type of technology on the machine for the festival. <coughs> Any other questions? <coughs>